If you guys do like games like Octopath Traveler or like the old school Final Fantasies where it's a little bit pixely, I would recommend giving this one a go. However, this video is sponsored by LD Player. Hi. Welcome back to a revived witch video. My name is Lace and today we're going to be doing kind of like a first impressions, a first playthrough of revived witch. And so this is an upcoming mobile game. It's kind of like a single player JRPG with like a pixelated sprite kind of thing. However, right now it is in CBT. As you can see the CBT notice over here. And although it is in CBT, there are ways to get into the CBT even now. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, if you hit a boy up, maybe a boy will help you out. And not only would it be nice to give it a shot in CBT, but also there are a couple of CBT experiences exclusives such as an avatar frame and an ex doll but yeah i don't know if you guys are going to be guaranteed these like items if you guys weren't officially invited and so with that being said let's jump into the game and have a quick look at it and so the first thing you see is this logo it is so reminiscent of like the final fantasy you can compare this to like any final fantasy logo and you'll be like huh wait a second are they both by square all right let's go let's enter the game no more dilly dallying so let's go in as a guest for now because that's how we do it and so it looks like i've got a device id down here switch account can i go to other servers i believe okay guys so this is as you can see published by yosta and yosta are pretty famous for publishing games like ark knights azure lane and a couple of other ones like mahjong soul but from a publisher point of view yosta is generally pretty trusted in the community because they at worst they do like a one-to-one -one kind of uh import right and as you can see here we've got pixel necker and so pixel necker are the developers of the game so here we go oh man i i i love this pixel stuff like this i think this game does pixels really freaking well and so you should probably get used to art like this like because this is essentially what the rest of the game is going to look like but i just think that this is kind of like the modern way that pixels are being done like so like octopath traveler you guys already uh, if you guys have played that game it's 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 gorgeous right it's beautiful and i think this one is just as beautiful oh oh wait can i was no i can't okay oh i can move okay <laughs> yeah okay this is not 100% what I was expecting but it looks like we can move our character and I'm pretty sure we can like travel up down left right as well oh the character's so cute she just put on her little hat okay oh can we jump oh which oh wait I've lost control okay that's um uh, yeah okay I, I guess they had to take control at some point but wow look at these graphics like these graphics are pretty insane especially for a pixel mobile game I think out of most games like that have come out so far like this is probably like stylistically one of my favorite ones of this year oh Oh my okay this is a really epic feeling like i like this so far all right guys it looks like we're in oh, i still can't wasd oh there's a little bunny over here oh am i following the bunny wait where'd the bunny go okay so it looks like we can actually go around and explore places oh the bird is flat oh my god what is that that is kind of scary oh okay that was kind of cool okay it's a battle never mind Never mind. Okay, so guys, this is our first look at like the battle system. So essentially we are getting like mana charged up and when the mana hits the bar, we can use spells. And so as you can imagine, as we get more party members, we're going to get more like access to more spells, right? And so then it becomes like a question of more decision making. So it's a little bit more active than just like your classic turn based game. And that is something that I do like about it. However, it is like, it's going to make things a little bit sweaty. I'm going to be like, oh my God, if only I'd hit this like a second faster, stuff like that, right? But like, let's hit it, feel the emerging magic energy unleash it. okay let's see what we get bam we just shot him in the freaking face okay let's go again bam we shot him in the face again it looked like a magic arrow classic mage move am i right all right victory skin combat time was nine seconds yeah it did feel like nine seconds didn't it and it looks like this is the mc pretty cute you know what i'm saying i ah uh, how do i say this I think this is one of those games like Alchemy Stars, like Ark Knights, where they're not like full looting like the lollies, you know what I'm saying? Like the characters. I'm a really big fan of like good art. Like look at that. Look at all this. This is... Oh, wait a second. Let me open up the FPS. Let's have a quick look at it. It is... Oh, it's running at 30 FPS? Oh, okay. I wonder if this can run at 60 FPS. It, even though it's running at 30 FPS, it's actually feeling incredibly smooth. Oh, man. I, I love that we had that interactable... Oh, dear. That's a little bit scary. I mean, this is a freaking witch game after all however look at that we have a live 2d cat mysterious black cat all right wait wait the cat's talking wait a second wait that was my reaction too so what should i call you this time oh okay 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 so i think this game is called revived witch because the witch keeps getting revived and it seems like this black cat might be our familiar so yeah all right let's go well, with that yeah he, he wasn't very helpful he was just like yeah what's your name bro and then just freaking peaced out dude what the heck playing through all of that i wonder if there is an auto mode you know what i'm saying or like a skip ticket system uh, we'll see we'll see 
but look at this this is so cool like this whole sanctum feeling it reminds me of like uh what is it golden sun back in the day it, oh man this is such a nostalgic feeling it's it's really great but it's like a really modern take on it because you can go like in all 360 directions right oh wow okay this this is cool this is really freaking cool this is a mobile game oh god okay that's kind of scary gee okay okay tap to collect the shot all right gotcha let's let's grab this bad boy and let's get out of here because i don't oh boy i don't know if i want to fight these things man they're kind of scary a broken shot containing overwhelming power can't be underestimated okay let's um uh i knew it i knew they're gonna freaking wake up they're gonna wake up on oh frick why do they do this why do they freaking do this man what Oh, uh, what? Oh, wow, we're already in battle. Man, that was such a smooth transition. Holy crap. You've unlocked chaos energy. Okay, so it looks like we use order energy to gain chaos energy, and then we can fire things off. So we use two of that, and then we gain two of that, and then we use two of this again, and then we're going to be able to actually fire this guy off. Bam! Oh, oh, look at that. Oh, wow. Okay, that's really freaking cool. That is actually so cool. Holy crap. Okay, so we're going to use that. And then as he's going to do this thing, oh, look at that. Oh my God. I'm such a fast learner. Am I right, guys? I'm such a fast learner. <laughs> okay. So that's actually a really cool system. And I put him back in his place. You know what I'm saying? Oh, what the heck? Okay. This chick just came out. Master, I called you to the tower. What? If she called me to the tower, why did I get my ass attacked, man? But nice. Very nice. Like this is a perfect blend, in my opinion, of like live 2D and like pretty or beautifulness or a little bit of lewdness. You know what I'm saying? Like, look at those freaking eyes. You know what I mean? Like, I love those eyes. The vessel hanging on your belt is filled with souls. Pour them into the spring and start summoning. Oh, okay. Tap to summon a doll. Oh, right. Tap the spring. <laughs> oh, okay. Whoa. That was um some crazy animations. Oh, is this the 100 selector? No, it doesn't look like it. Okay. Hey, where's live 2D? I thought that was live 2D. What the frick? Okay, maybe it's the higher rarity units that have live 2D. So probably SSRs and URs. But here's our first look at like the archetype. So we've got the destroyer over here. And so as you can see, there are a whole bunch of different archetypes. And I will talk through these like pretty shortly because like they will pertain to the tier list. But yeah, here you go. Here's a screenshot of it if you would like to see it. But yeah, let's move on. Here are the skills. It looks like they are upgradable and there is an ascension and an evolving system. On top of that, we've got health attack, physical defense magic defense so i think that's pretty straightforward so let's get the heck out of here all right let's finish up and okay these guys are what i want to talk about and so for you arknights players or other yostar games players if you guys do recognize like the certificate system from the arknights this is essentially that right so with enough gold petals or like in other versions they called it like gold feathers i believe you can actually trade them for ur and ssr dolls so that's really great to hear i think because eventually this means that you're probably going to be able to get like every single unit in the game and really, that's always a good point in my book. So let's keep going. You can make souls. Okay, you know what? I'm going to skip a lot of this dialogue because I don't want you guys to get spoiled. All right, guys, it looks like we're up to the team formation process. So I've just clicked into one of the spots in my teams. And then I'm going to add a front row doll to the team. So this is a destroyer class. I'm going to click onto her, click confirm. And so they are now deployed. All right, so that's pretty cool. However, I think our witch is really the only witch. So when it says revived witch, it's not that like there's witches everywhere. I think we're the only witch. All right, so I'm going to hit the start adventure and let's go begin. I'm, I'm pretty excited about this one, actually. Before we go anywhere else, I'm going to try like set up key bindings. So I don't know if you guys can see this, but essentially, oh, you guys can't see it. But I'm going to drag this onto here. So essentially, it's just a WASD. And so it's going to allow me to use WASD to move around. All right, so I've done this WASD. As you can see, oh, it looks like it works. That's pretty good. All right, that's, that's pretty handy. And the cat is back. Be careful, this place is different from how I remember it. It is full of traps now. Okay, so it looks like we are in the overworld. We have entered the tower, and I think this is the time where we actually go exploring. What I do want to know is if we click these, what happens? Okay, so we've got a whole bunch of different characters. Oh, so the game actually didn't crash. I hit the escape button, and then it left the game without any prompts. I think they should probably add like a confirmation to leave the game or something. All right, guys, we are back in the game. WASD still works, and uh, it's it still plays like a dream. Like, oh. Oh my gosh, it's, it's interactable. It is really interactable. Okay, 
I am I am a big fan of this already. This feels more like a single player game than a gacha, you know what I'm saying? I don't know if this is how the game is gonna be the entire time, like a lot of hands-on activity. And for some people, this might be a good thing or a bad thing. The Rip Paper writes, it's been three days since I came to the tower for treasure. What I was really trying to say is that like, a lot of people come into gacha games or come into mobile games expecting like a low level of commitment. However, actually playing through this, this plays more like a single player game. Like you're actually gonna need to sink time into it and Oh, look, there's a monster over here. So yeah, depending on how things go, like it might not be the game for you. And I completely understand that because there is a large proportion of like the mobile gaming community that do play mobile games because of time constraints. All right, please be careful. There is an unpleasant aura ahead. Yeah. Okay, so this is cool. So there is a sparkle there and it's showing up as a treasure chest on the map. And then we've got the enemy on the map as well. However, that's not a treasure chest, but I'm still going to pick it up because I want stuff. <laughs> Oh, 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 he should have chased after me. What the frick? That was scary. That actually scared me. All right. It looks like we are in. So use wind cutter to deal physical damage to all enemies. Okay. I, I guess I will do that. Oh, oh my. That was, that was pretty good. Restore health for the ally with the lowest health by using whisper of flower. Okay. Let's do that. Oh, okay. That, that is, that is cool. I do, I do like this. All right. Let's keep doing AOE damage. And then let's block it. Oh, did we block it? Oh, man. Oh, yeah. I could actually already feel myself like stressing out a little bit. Like it could get really hectic really fast in my opinion. All right, wait, what is this one over here? Uh, oh, wow. Okay, they already have the damage stats or like the, the battle statistics, I guess. We've got damage taken and it looks like Octavia can actually taunt or something because damage taken, that is like four times more, way more than four times more. However, on the other hand, it looks like Mortimer, our healer, cannot actually do any damage. And so the last thing that really stands out to me is why is my witch so weak? Like, what does she even do? She has 37% of the damage dealt, whereas the Octavia did so much damage. Oh my god, that freaking bat. I can't believe it chased me around. Holy crap. I did not expect that. I thought it was static and I would have to walk into it. But no, it had to turn into a horror game and I I'm not sure I like that very much. So guys, before we go any further, let's take a short break to talk about our sponsor. LD Play is a modern Android emulator that supports a whole bunch of games and apps, including Revive Witch, apparently. It's filled with features including multi-instancing, high frame rate mode if the game supports it. We've got macros, we've got sync operations, and way more. They are constantly updating and supporting this product, and the moment that they caught wind of Revived Witch, they immediately went to work to go support it. And honestly, they do that for a lot of their games, so kudos to them. But anyway, if you guys would like to try LD Player out, click the link down in the description or in the pinned comment. And thanks again to LD Player for the sponsorship, and so let's get back to it cutscene. Oh my god, she just came out of nowhere. It's just full of surprises everywhere. But holy moly, if there was a Mommy Milkers character in this game, I think she'd be it. Alright, so yeah, we get a prompt every time there's a chest nearby, which is nice, but like just keep your eyes on the map, I guess is the best way to put it. The production value is insane, the music's insane, the atmosphere is really insane. Oh my god, okay, here's another bat. Let's see if it comes after me. Hey, 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 hey. Okay, okay. You know what? Oh, this one's filled with small bats. So maybe the other one was actually like because there was a boss. So holy moly. Octavia, this is a record of an ancient lost swordsmanship technique. The blood of the sword that flows in my body will ascend. Oh, okay. So it looks like we are going to be getting ascensions for Octavia. Unlock successfully mines I deal physical damage equal to 180% of attack to a single target and stuns them and increases the damage and increases the damage of the next active skill by 70%. Okay. Okay, so this is not exactly like your defense down that I'm always looking for in all of these games, but this is enhancing your next attack. So it is allowing for some setup. So that's pretty cool. All right, so we just finished up. We are, what is this? This is probably gonna be like our premium currency. So this is just called Soul and it's from the Broken Lands. I believe we're probably in the Broken Lands, but yeah, so it looks like every, oh my God, wait, that was all one floor. And then we also farmed all of this stuff, but like, oh wow, okay. I really hope there is an auto mode for this. So this is a new screen. Master, please proceed with your exploration in the tower. Okay, go now. Let's keep going, I guess. So I think generally speaking, like this is probably going to be the same, same up until we get to 1-3. And so I'm just going to get past this and then show you guys where I'm at there. Okay, guys, I did say I wanted to skip through this because there's not much to see, but I just wanted to showcase this a little bit more. And so what I am showing you guys is this kind of like puzzle system. So as you can see, I can pull the lever here and it's going to like raise some and it's going to deplete some. And then I've got another lever over here. Yeah. Holy freaking 
crap. Oh my god. Guys, I swear to god, I am not faking it. Like, I hate horror games. I hate jump scares like that. I got caught a second time. Anyway, I think I got my point across. You guys saw the puzzles, and so I will see you guys on the other side of this. Oh, okay, so we are in battle, and so I just used up a couple of spells, and then I used this new spell that we got over here. And so it looks like the chaos skill is actually associated with the character. And so what that means is that eventually the healer is going to get one as well. However, what I do want to point out is this guy over here. A soul mark can be gained after using a chaos energy skill. And so at five marks, the energy outbreak mode will be activated. And so this is really interesting because it's kind of in my best interest if this soul mark or this energy outbreak mode is really good. It's in my best interest to either like time it or to actually spam the low cost ones to get into the energy outbreak mode. Okay, so we have five marks now and unleash them to restore all the chaos and order energy and triple the order energies increase for five seconds. Wait, that's really freaking good. Holy crap. Okay, let's try this out. Oh my God. Oh, it's going so fast. It's going way too fast. Oh dear. Wait, I can't even like, I, I can't even use up. That was so fast. That was holy, holy. Wait, <laughs> wait, that was... That was incredibly stressful, but I can see how that was like an insane game changer. Like that is your burst window. That That is the burst window. I think there's probably a lot of thinking that's gonna go behind that one, but like, yeah, oh my God. That's a pretty game changing mechanic. And what I mean by that is like, there are a lot of different possibilities that could probably come out of that. However, let's move on. All right, it looks like we have finished the tower and oh, hello there. Okay, what is this? This one is increases 100% of maximum stamina. Very nice. Very nice. So it's essentially like your stamina pot. However, it says increases 100% of your maximum stamina. So it sounds like it's in your best interest to save these as late as you can because 100% of 100 is more than 100% of 20. So hopefully this is going to be how it works and you're going to get more mileage out of it. But otherwise, it looks like we are going to get an SSR Arcana our character. Let's have a look at it. Oh, there's the live 2D. That's what I'm talking about. So guys, like I said, this is 30 FPS and you can see it up here, but like this actually looks fantastic. It doesn't feel like 30 FPS. Yes. It doesn't feel choppy. It doesn't feel choppy in the way that Alchemy Stars did when it was on 30 FPS frame lock. Anyway, let's get out of here. Let's see what else we can see in this uh, menu. Okay. So it looks like we're going to be able to summon new dolls and... Oh, here we go. This is it. This is like, it's not the unlimited summon, but we can do a 10 times, a hundred times. And so the following UR dolls may appear in the first limited time summon. Okay, so I believe the target reroll is this pudding looking one over here, a fallen. A fallen? A fallen? It's like, yeah, okay, let's got it. I got it. Let's go. Let's just go. All right, 10 times summon. Let's see what we get. Let's have a look at this anime. Oh, wait, we've seen this before. Uh, is there any indication of the UR? All right, so we've got these fox ladies. Holy moly, look at those freaking eyes, dude. Let's keep going. So that's an SR. So it looks like purple gives one gold feather. And oh, hello, Royal Sword Hilda. Wait a second. I thought it was guaranteed a UR. Wait, wait a second. Holy crap. Wait, this is really bad. So it looks like we're actually going to have to reroll quite a fair bit. You know what? I'm going to skip. Oh, there was the gold. Okay, I saw that there. So the gold probably indicates the SSR. Let's skip all this through. And so we've got the SSR. However, there is no UR. And so what I think we're going to be looking for, because I thought it was rigged, but apparently it's not rigged in a good way. But we're probably going to be looking for one UR and one SSR at least. And so guys, on that note, I brought up this tier list or like this tier list over here. And like they're kind of saying the same thing. As you can see, you can see the pink head girl. I think she's the dragon girl. She's in the S tier. And I do believe that this is the scythe archetype. And so like assassin, we've got the blue no she's got white hair it's the same same and so like it looks like this tier list is actually translated from this one it looks largely the same and so yeah if you guys do care about this kind of thing like you guys can refer to this but like i'm just gonna go fish for some urs and ssrs you know so guys i did a bit of a blunder i was recording without the ld player but essentially what i was trying to say is that like generally speaking i think the best role that we can get is a ur and ssr and one sr and so that's probably the best combination that we're going to be able to get and so let's just keep going and let's see what we can actually fish out one ur and two four six srs so we are still looking for that one ur one ssr and one sr one ur one ssr and hold up wait this is really good one ur one ssr and two srs so it looks like we can actually get better than one 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 we can get one one two however let's keep going and see if there is anything better than that but, but that's pretty cracked that's already really freaking good one zero six approximately i feel like i have not seen any other urs aside from that chick and here we go. Wait a sec. Holy crap. Wait, I was completely wrong. So it looks like we can get a UR and SSR and one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so 
the five SRs. Wow, this one's actually freaking massive. I should really take this if I know what's good for me. But it looks like there's probably not going to be a cap on the SRs. So if you guys are like trying to fish something nice, you could probably run something like this. But me personally, I'm going to speed run through it and see if there's anything better. And so I'll catch you guys on the other side when I have settled for something. All right, guys, this is what I'm settling for. So we've got the tanker over here. What's her name? Aphelin, I think. Apparently, she's just a fantastic tanker. And then we've got this lady over here, this mage. Ushpia, queen of the desert. But yeah, this is kind of like what I'm looking for and probably what I'll be looking for when launch actually happens. So I'm saying a tank, an SSR, and any amount of SRs. And so let's confirm this and see what happens. So confirm. And so it looks like we've got a bunch of shards as well as these feathers. Oh, a shard system. Okay, let's see where this is going. Okay, guys, so it looks like I'm actually able to go around and... Oh my god, wait, this is actually really insane. I wonder if there is a place to actually hang out. Like, I'm pretty sure I saw, like, kind of a, a living situation. But let's explore this a little bit. Summon, and so this is just your summon menu. Let's have a look at the rules real quick. Uh, drop rate of URs at 2%. Okay. And then SSRs, we've got 8%. SRs at 40%. Okay, so that's actually quite good odds for SRs, but not the greatest odds for the URs. However, there is a guarantee system, which is music to my ears because freaking Alchemy Stars has shafted me so bad. So it's 80 to get a guaranteed UR and it's 160 to get the guarantee on the rate up UR. That's really freaking good. And I believe pity actually carries over between banners of the same kind. And so what I mean by that is that the Awakening banner is going to carry over to the Awakening one and the Dreamland one is going to carry over to the Dreamland one as well. Okay, so that's actually that's actually pretty cool. It's, uh, it's very similar to the Genshin model. On the other hand, what else do we have? We have a workshop, but it's probably not unlocked. Yeah, it's not really unlocked yet. So we can see, oh my Lord. So by workshop, I think they just meant inventory. That's pretty straightforward. Not much going on over here. Let's move over. Let's have a look. Summon. We've got the tower over there. Commission board. So this is probably just like our dailies. And so it looks like we actually have a guild system, but we have to get up to a certain stage before we can access it. Next, let's have a look at the shop. What's in here? We've got a free adventure pack. Okay, I guess I'll take that. I wonder what these are for. They look like they're class specific so it could be to actually ascend them or to upgrade them a little bit on the other hand we've got groceries so we've got the petals over here okay this is this is the cool part so it looks like it's a hundred golden petals to exchange for a ur and it's 30 to exchange for potentially is that the ssr i think it is and then there are a whole bunch of other things that i don't understand yet but like it looks like these are the main prizes here on the other hand we have white petals so let's see what we can get so this looks like rolls actually okay yeah th this is this is decent I, I love that system i am so thankful to arknights for implementing it and i'm so thankful for this game for actually adopting it there was one more up here dream maelstrom so i can't get into that event i also can't get into that so it looks like i have to go all the way to one three before we can go anywhere else again what i really want to know is if there is an auto mode and i feel like there isn't so this is probably going to be a deal breaker for a lot of people i feel like if there is auto it might be locked behind something is there a auto edit yeah let's try that but yeah there's a chance it's going to be there there's a chance it won't be there uh oh element buff okay so it looks like we're going with the blue yellow red one and so oh okay there are actually buff effects deployed dolls are all of the same element we get that deployed dolls and backup are all of the same element okay oh wow this is uh this is blatantly clear it looks like they really want you to be running mono team so eventually i guess we're going to be building out a team for each of these different types but yeah i'm gonna hit start adventure uh a girl's prayer is locked unlock now how, how do i unlock it during your adventures you can collect materials used for unlocking skills unlock skills to make your dolls more powerful okay let's do that so it looks like these orbs are being used to unlock skills wait that's quite a lot of skills uh it feels like a whole skill tree holy crap wait i really like this and it looks like this one is a chaos skill so if we get that can we move on to the next one uh okay so this is a passive skill and it is also locked behind levels so if i was to move down here what is this skill over here wait this system this whole system is actually really freaking cool okay so obviously eventually i reckon you can probably max it all out but at least in the short term it looks like there is some flexibility in how you build your characters this oh this is giving me like crazy mmo vibes actually or even just like crazy rpg vibes which it kind of is as you guys could see anyway i'm probably not going to hit start adventure here and show you guys that i think this video has gone on long enough but hopefully this has helped you see like exactly what the systems are what the combat looks like and what is potentially waiting for us it could be grindy it definitely plays like a single player game but with gacha however i do know that there is pvp whether it is already in the game or not i'm not sure but i do believe it is like arena based so kind of like princess connect right but yeah in terms of the art style the the environment everything the music 
this oh man I, I love it i freaking love this game i personally can't say with any certainty whether i'm actually going to like stay with this game or anything but like just the vibes of this entire thing is really really nice okay guys i accidentally hit escape again and it crashed it so guys do remember to not hit escape if you guys do manage to give this one a shot but i think i'm going to end the video there i think like generally speaking this one is like it's it's a nice game i really do like it however there is something i do want to say so let me just like get onto the screen real quick and it's the pre-registration website itself so as you can see we are only getting pre-registration gifts up to 100k however only 32,000 people have actually pre-registered and so the thing about this is that despite being published by Yostar but despite being a massive name I feel like the interest in this game is not really there right like it's kind of the same deal as Alchemy Stars however Alchemy Stars was crazy because it was a global release and so what I mean by that is it had a simultaneous C release and A release uh, global Australia JP it released everywhere in one go however this game game is not really like that it's just global i personally really like the game i really hope that it does well but i'm not sure about these pre-registration numbers i think this is a great game but it's also like really niche right it's got this rpg element to it and so it's pretty clear that yosa is not expecting it to blow up like crazy although i am praying that it does but in my opinion if this is kind of their expectations for the player base and they're still willing to go launch i think this is going to be okay i am not going to call this a dead game yet it actually takes quite a fair bit for me to call something a dead game but as far as it's going right now especially like with no marketing no ads or anything and i don't blame it like it's only in cbt it's not even close to launch yet stuff like that i just think like right now it's it's not going to be the next arc knights it's not going to be the next alchemy stars i don't think it's going to be the next pgr don't think it's going to match world flipper but like who cares about these numbers as long as the game is alive it's getting updates it's being supported and the devs actually do care about it and last but not least you guys are still having fun with it i would say just go in on the game guys and so if you guys did see something that you liked throughout out all of that gameplay do consider giving it a shot but otherwise i think it is time to wrap up this video i've got a secret question for you guys and it's that well did it look interesting did the whole gameplay look interesting did the mechanics look interesting did the vibe look interesting are you willing to give it a shot in cbt or on launch and so if you guys could drop your answer to that secret question down in the comments below i would really appreciate it because it means that you've watched up until the end of the video and so thank you so much but otherwise please consider a like a sub a comment a follow and if you guys do want to help this game out like consider pre-registering it otherwise if you guys do want to know a little bit more about this game like i do have a whole bunch of guides i've collated a whole bunch of things in my discord right now so go join it and if you do want to support the channel there are a couple of ways in the description like a membership thing but otherwise as a wise old witch once said all good things must come to an end and so thank you guys so much for watching and i'll catch you guys in the next video Bye bye